Well, more and more people are cutting the cord this year, dropping their cable package and switching to a streaming TV service through their smart TV. But now there's so many options, it could just be confusing. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chowdhury has a streaming service showdown so you don't waste your money. With some cable bills reaching nearly $200 a month, some folks are switching to streaming TV services. But you need to be careful because that can cost a lot of money too. For how much I was spending on cable, I was finding there wasn't that much that I really wanted to watch. Kimberly Siegman and her boyfriend cut the cord and bought a Roku box. Now they have basic Hulu and Netflix. They get local channels free with an antenna. With that and an antenna, we had all we needed. To get started, you'll need a smart TV or Roku, Apple TV box, Google Chromecast, or Amazon Fire Stick. Then you need to choose a streaming service. And with the help of CNET.com, we compared the five main players for 2019. Sling TV. CNET calls it the best value at just $25 a month, but it's missing Fox News, Nickelodeon, and most local TV channels. Hulu Live's about $45 with the most cable and local channels, though no AMC or Comedy Central. DirecTV Now comes in at $50 a month, and you get free HBO, but you won't get HDTV or Discovery. PlayStation View is at $45, but no MTV, Lifetime, or Nickelodeon for the kids. And YouTube TV is 50 bucks a month, lots of sports, but no A&E, Comedy Central, Lifetime, or Nick. Kimberly is considering upgrading her Roku with Sling or another service, but she doesn't want to go overboard. With that and the antenna for my NBC, CBS, ABC, I'm good. And if you're a live sports fan, reviewers say the streaming service Fubo is the right one for you. So you don't waste your money. I'm Samit Chowdhury for 7 Action News.